In the year 2000, a top-secret biotech facility conducted Project S, the creation of talking animals. It was to go unbelievably badly wrong. I was standing. A knob of butter. You have half fingers. <laughs> We're setting these animals free. I can't unlend them. My lens fell. My, fill, my shoe tree. We're getting you back to where you belong. Into the wild. What I love about living in the country is the sense of community. If we just make an effort to join in, we'll be welcomed with open arms. <laughs> Not quite so tight, you. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. I'll be able to just blend into the background. <laughs> Good evening. My name is Winona Matthews. I'd like to join the WI. I enjoy community work. I have once made my own chutney. And I would be happy to run a tombola. I, I've, I've brought along a recipe for Mediterranean chicken. The trick is to pop a lemon in the cavity at just the right moment so the flavor comes through. I ha have learnt Jerusalem. And dear those feet in ancient times walk upon England's pastures green. I'm not a dog. G into security. Uh -oh. uh, 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 bloody tiny ladder. I just want to clear out the loft on a weekend like other men. Oh, Cox. This house makes me physically sick. I could hang up some crystals. It's supposed to refract the negative energy. You'll need more than crystals to refract that rug. Anyone who chooses swirly purple carpet should be sterilised. Wipe out the DNA in a generation. Oh, Dicky! They welcomed you with open arms, then. They threw flares. They didn't want me. <laughs> All my recipe for Mediterranean chicken. The only way people will accept me is naked with a studded collar. <laughs> Why me? I heard the WI was progressive, but I want to go home. <laughs> oh. Isn't this home? I forgot the wrong house again! <laughs> ah, some off cuts of carpet. Ooh, 80s porn. I can stand. Hugh. Fetch the block and tackle and fill up the skip. I need a bubble bath. Jesus! That's a close one. Sorry. Look, I'm sorry, all right? Do you remember it? Oh. Our own beds. Oh. Shake of furniture. Oh. Our own mechanical Indian head masseur. A tailor-made walk-in shower with body jets and a bidet the exact shape of my area. As much buttock-level auto-dispensed toilet tissue as a man could wish for. No poor people from abroad. Oh, and I had a whole drawer full of thongs by Dolce and Gabbana. Six black, four red, and one with a pearl in a special place. Oh, and that big room next door where they were killing animals. <clears throat> Scatter cushions in Thai silk. They were all in cages with electric things sticking out their brains. And all morning. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, meow, meow. I think I think memory can be uh, well, it isn't always very reliable. It was a while back. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, it's all gone now. That awful man with big arms and a voice like Ross Kemp burnt it down. Ross Kemp. There's someone in the house! Oh, oh sorry. 
I bet you won't get back to sleep now. Oh my god. We have to be updated to uh, Bluetooth. Oh, sorry. We should call the police. What, and sit around for three weeks while some bobby on a bicycle fails to move a new age gypsy burglar off the village green? <gasps> this is the countryside, people. Ugh. Where did you get that? The old biddy had it under her bed. But you could kill someone. That is one of the design features, yes. Oh, it's so exciting. We were just about to go to bed. Now we could end someone's life. You poor bastard. What twisted son of a bitch did this to you? That's my Mediterranean chicken. What a mess. It's all a bloody mess. I know I popped the lemon in a little too late, but there's no need to be rude. Who goes oh. there? Oh, oh, well done, Gordon Ramsay. Right, on the count of three. One. Just popping to the lavatory. Two. Aubergine's always. Uh, three. Ticking mom. Charge! Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm a dog. I'm a lethal dog. <sighs> God, the talking animals. I've tracked you for months, looked everywhere. Said I found this. That's my sports bra. I took it off to give someone directions. Uh, uh, excuse me? The plan? Ah! Uh, did, did you get him? Is that whole ending his life business over with? Oh, oh I'm bleeding. Use this. It's in very poor taste. Ah! Oh, sorry. Who are you? <sighs> Don't you remember me? Any of you? I do. You're the second Doctor Who. I diddly done. I diddly done. Diddly done. Diddly done. No, I'm Julian. Julian Lovely. You sound more like Roth Kemp to me. Roth Kemp again. Wait a minute. I set you free. <laughs> the bastard is him. <laughs> Step outside, sir. I want to nut you. I'm sorry. I uh, know. It went wrong. I'll bloody say it went wrong. You ripped us out of our beds, yeah. stuffed us huh? in a van with a bunch of meowing plebs, yeah. and crashed into a tree. Oh. Did they teach you that at Liberator Polytechnic? You burnt my horoscopes and my scrapbook of handsome serial killers. I don't even have a change of thong anymore. Claire, you do wash it through at night. Oh. It was a laboratory. They were experimenting on you. Uh, Mr. Lovely, if they were experimenting on my eyes by holding the fog by James Herbert in front of them with a very handy contraption that turned the page at the flip of a toggle switch, then so be it. Exactly. If they were experimenting on my taste buds with lamb cutlets on a butternut squash with juniper juice, Bring it on, baby. Aye. And if they were experimenting on my head by taking me away every night and pushing a long metal probe in the top... Watch! <laughs> oh, oh, it didn't explode! Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. Ah. Ah. Oh. An Arab! Oh. <laughs> they used to cut bits off. <laughs> oh, my God. I've seen some terrible stuff in laboratories. And, of course, Snowy. Who? Oh. But you. You're the most sickening experiment of the lot. Sickening? You Pardon. cheeky Pardon. shit. Pardon. It's obscene. A rat in a sports bra, a right-wing sparrow with a rifle, and you. Oh, God. It's horrible. Excuse me. That eyeshadow's probably been tested on dogs. You poor, ghastly freak. Mark, could you shoot him again, please? My pleasure. Uh, could you lean down, please, so I can aim between your eyes? Come on. Blow him away, Mark. Love you. Trembling. Please, listen. I'm here to help you. The snowy. Mm -hmm. I've got to finish what I started. The hamster. Lower, please. Oh, I think I'm having a... Super. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> Drop the gun, or I'll blow us all. You wouldn't. We've got ten seconds. None of you has fingers to replace the pin except the monkey, and he needs them to hold the gun, so throw it here. I don't like you, Mr. Lovely. But your iron pineapple speaks. You, give him the gun. I'm sorry, I wish it didn't have to be this way, but it's for your own good. Now take your clothes off. What? No way. We appear to be in the hands of a psychopathic naturist. Humor him. I don't. I think it's an orgy. <laughs> oh, I like being in the wild. I like being in the wild. Oh, yeah. I don't wear clothes, I'm nature's child. I don't, I don't wear, wear clothes, clothes, I'm nature's, nature's child. child. Bring it on. Could I pop back for a pack of mac 
Nay, Winnie, splutter. Nay, Winnie, splutter. You're animals. You've got to start living like animals. Oh, do you mean like when you keep all your eyeliner on for days and come in and you're blind drunk and you... Keep gnawing! Not like that. <gasps> like I showed you. Oh, really? Well, look away. <laughs> <laughs> Good work. What do you call that? My nest. Bedroom, lounge, study come chill out zone, sun terrace, watchtower, linen cupboard. No, you monkey! <laughs> hey! Hugh, could you point at my temple, please? <sighs> What's next, Constable? Buy milk. Get cork board for incident room. Investigate reports of repeated gunfire at Greenbank Cottage. Uh, buy cassettes for interviews. Hmm. OK, leaves here, fruit there. Berries here. Don't touch the orange ones. We'll be shit until Christmas. Pano chocolat here. Uh, plus a box of Cheerios. Though I fear Hugh got to the free toy. No! You do not belong in that house! We know that, Raymere's extreme survival. It's not even on sweet. Just forage! Your instincts will tell you what you want and where to find it. Eggs Benedict, Café Rouge. Um, I mean, the thing is, Julian, I can't eat fruit and berries. I'm on the Atkins diet. Rats don't need to watch their figures! <laughs> Ooh, oh, Mr Temper. I'm... I'm sorry, uh... It's just I've never found animals irritating before. Take a look in the mirror. Ray Mears Extreme Survival. What's this? I, I did forage for it on my mobile. I used my instincts to rig them up. You bastard. <laughs> Snowy. Don't go, Snowy. Okay. Small dog. Wouldn't be a polar wouldn't be a polar bear. No. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, oh, oh I, I was just down there to ask you a question. I'm sorry, little one. You must be so confused. Ask me anything. All of you. Um, um uh, I've got two questions. Do you like girls with tails? Hmm. And what happened at London Fashion Week? Is David guessed as troubled as he looks? Why is everything round? Shut up! Go to sleep! <laughs> I can hear a rustling and heavy breathing. What's going on? Right, that is it. I am not sleeping noddy next to an overexcited monkey. It's cruel! Yeah. You're being cruel. To an animal. Mm. He is his cruel. No, never. He touched my area. Dead. I didn't like it. Not one bit. And it is rather cold. My lalas are all pointy. You can check them if you want, Julian. I want my pajamas. Yes. <laughs> all right, all right. And I need my contact lens solution. Could you bring me 50 steridents while you're there? And a small pan for my teeth. Oh, and my makeup removal pads with integral toner and moisturizer. And my teddy hammer. No! No! If you don't let me remove my makeup, my pores will clog and I'll get whiteheads. And that would be cruel. <laughs> you big sexy cruel man. <sighs> <sighs> Now go to sleep. Can I have a milky drink? No! That's nearly as bad as vivisection. Yes, actually, you're testing out not giving a rat a milky drink when it needs one. Don't, Don't be cruel. cruel! All right! I'm not warming it up. Oh, you're cruel. All right, I'll warm it up. <laughs> <laughs> this is still cruel. Yes, it is cruel. I, 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 it's it's still, still cruel. Very cruel. cruel. Yes. Doctor Who. What do you mean? We don't like you. You're damaged. You made a horse build a fire. Didn't mind that bit. I just want to help. I'd never hurt you. Oh. Come on, you lot. Inside. No, wait, please, don't go! Bring the duvet. You wouldn't want us to struggle up the stairs with it. That'd be cruel. I failed them. Like I failed Snowy. Looks quiet enough to me, Sarge. <laughs> That's 
for burning down our home, you big-armed bastard! Bart, you're behaving like a Wally! Uh, it's the second... second Doctor Who! Quick. We'll get the others. We make a run for it. Others? Oh. Who are they? Who are they? They're the other lab animals. The ones that survived when I crashed the van. I've been tracking them down. You've been giving them more cinnamon grains. This cat's collar says Tibbles. It's got a local phone number. I don't remember a cow in the van. I'd rather think one would. Perhaps they went out, Sarge. What the fuck is that? Some sort of deformed pink man. It may be a gay. Treat it with respect. It was a moment of madness. I saw this poor creature being forced to walk on his hind legs with a huge sign saying, Golf Sale. Oh. It was only when he asked to phone his brother two hours later that I realised my mistake. By then, he knew too much about me. She's my favourite. Look at those beautiful eyes. Hello? Bam! Too late! In the house! We heard gunfire. Are you all right? Uh, we're fine, thank you. We're staging a historical reenactment of the Iran-Iraq War. If everything's fine, I'd like you to come out and show me. I'm... I've lost all my shoes. We've cleaned the doorstep. Come out in your socks. That's for the crime wave that's gripping this country. You bloody idiot! So, have you ever, like, you know, killed anybody? Yes. Wow. We're not coming out! I have hostages! Ow! You hurt him, mate. Oh, God. Just please let me go. I love you, too. Ah, uh, yeah, can I have a veggie burger with five? Uh, 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 I appear to have nine W's. Julian? Yeah? Um, interesting point. Apparently, in a hostage situation, sometimes the hostage ends up identifying psychologically with the captor to the point where they actually have sex. Um, and all I would say is, could you go quite slowly at first? Oh, God, no, get off! Fine. I'm going to ring me RSPCA and tell them you tried to do it anyway. Give me that! Oh. RSPCA, my bum. Mark, you can't have la-las. It's just a slang term for tits. Stop it! <laughs> what are you doing, Raymond? The, the survival. Oh, yup! This thing is bigger than us lot now. A lot bigger. This is Julian Lovely. I have a list of demands. I want all animals. Fish, rabbits, dogs, rabbits, ponies, squirrels, birds, insects everywhere to be released into the wild. Somewhere nice, like Tuscany. And I want a people carrier for me and the hostages. And some hay. Uh, what, what? My God, you can just ask for... For anything you like. And they'll give it you. Wow. I, I have a few more demands. A five-album deal with Geffen Records. Is that right? The promotional tour of North America. With a promotional tour of North America. A six-hour top-to-toe treatment package at the Decleor Beauty Spa in Mayfair. Spa Illuminata. A go on the corkscrew at Alton Towers. A packet of Werther's Originals and one boyfriend. Ask if they want pizzas or something, like in the films. Right. To Jean of Swan, Brain Patty, Wild Boar with the Calvados sauce, Thank you. baby quails, uh, and uh, veal with foie gras. Ugh. That's mine. Let's live like this forever, with men outside with guns. Giving us things. Oh, my hips won't stop. Hey, hey, look! Oh. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. We're on the telly. We're actually on the telly. And right here, standing outside this remote cottage, which has become known as the Green Bank Siege Site, oh. there's a sick 
stunning new development. Julian Lovely, Britain's most notorious animal rights activist, has ordered himself a gourmet feast of brains and livers. He's gone from a man who eschews meat to a man who chews meat. <laughs> I've never met a lady like you. You're much more pink. <laughs> Here we go. Winky for Pinky. <laughs> right. Will you do it? Love me. It's all gone wrong. I'm gonna have to kill you and turn the gun on myself. <laughs> you are <laughs> lovely. Give me the gun. The two um. You with the fingers. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, sorry, mate. You go out to your family. Wait. Take Mr. Lovely's gun. Hand it to the authorities. There's been enough killing for one day. Bye bye, Pink. <laughs> How the police treat the public. It's no wonder they're mistrusted. We're all gonna die in here. There's no way out. Oh no! no. We're all gonna die! What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? The only way out is my tunnel! What? Bloody hell. I dug it out with a spoon for a laugh. Comes out by carpet, world. Jim Collin is new judge. What's that? Oh my god. They're drilling into the roof. <gasps> Coming from your bag, Winona. Mm. My goodness. It's vibrating. Oh, hello. Friend of the career woman. <laughs> oh, no, no. It's my electric toothbrush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they all say. <laughs> Oh, Ramey of Extreme Survival, where are you taking us now? Look, I know you don't want to live in the wild. No. no. I'm going to meet you halfway. My brother's got a static caravan in the Mumbles. I'll leave you there with the keys. It's not what I planned for you, but at least it has no electricity. A caravan? A caravan? No electricity? I'm sick. Wales? That's a stupid country. Shut your beak. I spent five years of my life planning the raid on that lab. And all for what? They rebuilt the place a week later, and I ended up with a bunch of furry twats. They rebuilt Vivisac. Take us home! I want to go You can't go back! They'll kill you! Maybe you're right. But perhaps it's better to have one glorious day of Imperial Leather Shower Gel and Parmesan and Herb Biscuits than an eternity of processed cheddar slices beside a coal effect bar fire. Take us home. Don't be cruel. In the back oh, of a yeah. van. In the back, back of, of a yeah. van. In the back of a van. We're going home. Where they may kill us. Take these. Break in at midnight. A klaxon sounds and they turn off all security systems at the same time as the guards take a 20 minute break. For some reason. Christ! How could you sleep at night? Xanax. Oh. Julian, just one thing. Who's Snowy? I've never told anyone this. I killed an animal once. I had a rabbit. Uh, Snowy was his name. Snowy and I were like brothers. <laughs> when I, I was six, I, I went into the garden. Snowy was there, out of his hutch. We had a high fence, so it was OK. After I'd been patting him, I walked past a metal bucket. It had been raining and it was full of water. Lying on the surface 
was a dead fly. Poor bastard. I went indoors. The next morning, Snowy was dead. I knew in that moment it was my fault. Hey? Clearly, what had happened was that before dying, the fly had weed in the bucket. What? Obviously, Snowy drank some of the dead fly wee poisoned water. I'll kill my brother. Snowy. Um, no. Can I ask you a, a couple of questions? Sure, yeah, sure. Uh, first, how much wee do you think a fly could generate? A milliliter? Two, two, two max. How could that be a lethal dose to a rabbit? Second, do flies actually wee? No. I wee and I'm not a fly. Exactly. Much like a fly, your story doesn't hold water. But that means... You didn't kill Snowy. What? Probably your mum. Oh, dear. Your whole life has been a sham. Cheerio Bye. then for Thank the you. Right. Hello. 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 Oh. Are you waiting for us? Ah. My shoe tree. My favourite specially adapted chair. Oh, that's why the lemon wasn't coming through. I forgot to paste the chicken cavity with aioli. Your farm was sent and her biscuit. Oh, it's again, isn't it? And so, to bed. Good Lord, I appear to be already asleep. Excuse me, what? Is it a mirror? They've replaced us. They've replaced us all. Uh, uh, the, uh, they, 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 they don't seem to have replaced me. <laughs> Newton's Bathroom by Philip M. Bowie. Yes. <gasps> it's the third part of my octology about a scientist with cancer whose search for the DNA of God leads him on a sexual odyssey through the dark heart of post-9-11 Chicago. To you. You can point. Oh, your breath smells a bit. Oh. Can you be quiet? There are other people to take into consideration. No! My bed. I'm bitch. Just piss off, okay? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's fascinating. We appear to be some sort of embodiment of the nature slash nurture debate. While we clearly share the genetic commonality, I have the benefit of culture, whereas you have turned out to be some kind of whooping pikey. <laughs> Are you listening? It's a question. I'm here. I don't like animals anymore. You know, this is your room. Yeah, yes. yes. Come out, you furry scum. We'll leave you to it. This way, people, quickly. Hello, animals. Excuse me, you grockle, but I'm not an animal. I'm a published... <laughs> oh! <laughs> you, learn to drive. Now! I mean, did they lose the instructions for me? I suppose possible. Oh, of course! I was such a success, they couldn't improve on me. Oh, shit. <clears throat> you know that thing I said about Parmesan biscuits and death being better than this? Yes. That was rubbish, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is.